We presented some initial data on our lung cancer test today at the World Conference on Lung Cancer, the biggest dedicated lung cancer conference in the world. And I'd like to tell you a little bit more about it. Lung cancer is a leading cause of death in countries across the world, and it's very difficult to diagnose. Unfortunately, if you have a lump in your lungs, you can't feel that. You may have no symptoms for, for many years. By the time that it is causing problem, you probably have very late stage disease, which is difficult to treat, and therein lies the problem. Many countries now are initiating screening programs for lung cancer using low-dose CT. If you find a small lump inside the body of somebody that's 60 or 70 years old in their chest, how would you know that it is a cancer or not? And the short answer at the moment is it's very difficult. And you have two options. You can either biopsy the lung and stick a needle into that module and pull out some cells and see if it is cancer. That's highly unpleasant and can be dangerous. Or you can do repeat scans. Just wait for a few months, uh, do another scan and see whether the lump has grown. This means that one of the great unmet needs in lung cancer screening is an ability to tell the difference between an early stage cancer and a non-manipulant nodule. We've developed tests for determining whether or not a small nodule is cancerous. And we've been conducting a, a study in Taiwan on 1,200 patients who have undergone low-dose CT scans and with known outcome that, it, that their lumps are cancerous or not cancerous, and some people with no lumps. And we're now reporting the first data, an interim data set on 220 of those patients. And the results are very encouraging. Using two of our epigenetic nucleosome assays, we were able to rule out cancer in 32% of the people that have a non-malignant nodule. This is potentially a very useful tool for clinicians because it will enable a reduction in unnecessary repeat scans and unnecessary biopsies. There's a lot more data than we were able to put into a short poster. Um, when we have the full study data, we will be publishing these later in the year at further conferences. But these early data are indeed very encouraging and I'm looking forward to, to the further data that comes out.